Alright guys, I am excited to talk about some upcoming Halloween animatronics for 2023. Let's go. Let's do this. Well, the first thing I noticed here was the Forgotten Toys reskin. So the Forgotten Toys was released a few years ago. Um, I believe it's from Techie Toys. I actually just bought it last year. Really not a bad animatronic. It's not the greatest, but uh, it does scare little kids that may come through your haunt. So it's pretty neat uh, overall and also pretty cheap. Cheap is cheap is what I always say. All right, and next off we have this guy. Um, not really sure who he's supposed to be. Um, when I look at him, uh, what really stands out to me is he really appears to be uh, more of a, like uh, an animation. He reminds me of old Disney animation or maybe even like uh, Scooby-Doo cartoons from back in the day. Not sure exactly where I would use him. All right, so next off we have this clown with the teddy bear. So I do think the clown with the teddy bear does have, um, you know, a pretty good uh, potential, we'll say. We think you got a lot of potential, Kit Luca. Um, I think he looks great. I love that he has that creepy, uh, you know, the teddy bear. I I'm really hoping that he has some original, um, original audio. Be original. <laughs> uh, Lowe's is very infamous. I'm gonna try not to say this throughout this video, but Lowe's is very known, well known for old, stale, you know, just overused audio. Like stale and with their animatronics. So hopefully he will have some original audio where he's trying to entice children and maybe with that teddy bear. And I think that could be really awesome. Hey kid, come over here. But other than that, I think his looks are just great. Behind him, you can kind of barely see her, but there is a, a witch back there. I think that she also has a really good potential. I like that she's taller. She looks pretty damn creepy. Girl, you look creepy. And uh, I like that skull in her hand. Uh, at the end of the day, again, it's just gonna depend on what kind of audio um, is she gonna have? Is it gonna be unique? Um, or is it gonna just be some old, you know, 2016 knockoff audio? I've already subscribed. All right, so next we have this girl here. So she's kind of, um, she reminds me of Demonic Dahlia. And I feel like she's definitely going to have a lot of the same or similar movements. I'm definitely expecting her to jump up. I'm expecting her to pop back down as well. Up and down. Um, my concern here, um, do I trust Lowe's with as cheap as their animatronics tend to be? Oh, these are cheap. Um, last year I bought one, uh, it was the uh, green clown from last year. And it really, it was only after maybe two weeks uh, that he just wouldn't even finish his old, you know, old stale phrases. He's dead! Uh, we did find that the, by plugging them in versus using the batteries, it did make a difference. So it did seem to, to make that work out for us. Um, behind her, um, you're gonna see Stitches the Clown. I also bought Stitches the Clown last year. Um, really good prop, all original phrases. Um, so really cool, I definitely recommend to him. It'll be really cool to see him inside stores this year. All right, so next up, we have this zombie uh, with the chains wrapped around his wrist. Overall, I do like, uh, I like zombies a lot. Well, you like zombies, zombies eat brain. And uh, I do think that there is some pretty good potential here with this guy. I do hope he works out. Um, again, stale audio is my only concern. Looks like to me like maybe he's going to turn at his waist. Uh, maybe one of his arms moves up and down. But you can definitely t tell in the photo that the chain seems to be in motion where it's kind of swung, you know, either left or right. Uh, again in the back, you're actually going to see Stilts the Clown, or Clown, I'm sorry, the Clown with Stilts. Uh, I know it's been rumored for like four or five years uh, that this guy was coming out, maybe a prototype or whatever. Um, I am excited to uh, to get to see him. Let's check it out. Well, well, well. Welcome to the party. We couldn't wait till you arrived. It's finally time to eat. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
All right, next up in this picture, we, we have a couple of things going on. Uh, first, we have the rescan of the pumpkin carver. Um, I'll kind of get into her, like if you really look at her hand, it, I just can't stop looking at her hand. And, and uh, when she jumps forward at you, she has a, uh, a teddy bear that she kind of attacks you with. I, I found that to be a little odd that um, she would kind of jump up with you with the teddy bear. But then again, if she's kind of kneeling with a teddy bear and pops up at you, I, I guess that could kind of freak you out a little bit. Uh, next up, you have this um, kind of uh, <clears throat> reaper with a, a red robe on. Um, honestly, he really looks like he's just on a T-bar and uh, looks like the, the skull kind of just turns back and forth. Lame, 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 lame! I think this is going to be kind of that typical boring, cheap, Lowe's animatronic here for sure. I, I think he's going to have some kind of corny phrase that I, I can't really make out what he's saying. Uh, but I, I'm not really expecting this guy to be very popular um, among the props for the year. Can't unsee that. Mm. All right, and next up we have Leatherface. <laughs> so I'm really, really hopeful for this guy, but licensed props and lows uh, do not go really well historically back together. Um, I'm really, uh, I really think that he's going to be like the Jimmy 2006 Leatherface. Oh, CNN's gonna turn around and go home now. All right, and next up we have this, I believe uh, I believe I read that he is gonna be a nine foot zombie. So uh, the nine foot zombie, so my first glance when I first saw him, I thought, man, this guy's actually really cool. And, and I don't take that back. I, I think he is actually a, a pretty cool prop. I think the giant props are kind of the way of the future. I bought the 12 foot skeleton last year and it's really awesome when people ride by and they they just happen they, there's no way they're gonna miss a 12 foot skeleton in your yard so i think with this giant nine foot you know he's got light up eyes and all that stuff i think he is a great prop so i wouldn't uh i wouldn't bring anybody down for buying him um maybe if i got him at the end of the year when he was kind of on sale i, I might consider it on sale um, the thing for me is, is when I really look at it, he seems a little extra kind of animated. So I was talking about like cartoon character animation earlier. He looks a little animated. Zombies! Yep. Basi basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you if you look at animatronics, they're, they're usually known for their detail. Look at all the detail. Or potentially their gore, their fear aspect of them. If you see an inflatable, an inflatable is for a little bit more of a younger kid. Uh, so they're a little bit more created out of animation, so they look like a cartoon character. Cartoon violence! Cartoon violence! This right here really leans more towards that, and when you actually look at his animation, his animation is very much like an inflatable, uh, kind of like one of those inflatables where like Santa pops his head out of an outhouse or out of a trailer door. That one simple movement over and over again. That's the one thing that I really think is a little disappointing with this guy. So. I wouldn't hold it against anybody for getting them. Um, and like I said, my, at first glance, I really liked them. Uh, but really taking in exactly, you know, his, his appearance and, and really looking at his movements, it kind of stopped me. So next, we got this twitching guy. Worried about his twitch. <laughs> so I know a lot of people are just crazy over this uh, the twitching guy. And I do. I like him. I think he's super awesome and very cool. Um, Again, kind of like with the Demonic Dahlia knockoff, I'm really worried that Lowe's um, is not going to be able to make a good prop that's going to be able to work with those, those cheap motors and those cheap parts are going to be able to keep up with those frantic movements. And not really excited over this Jack Lantern guy. But what I am excited of is I do play guitar and I love rock music. If I'm a rocker, dude, through and through. Uh, I love the rocker animatronics you got here in the back. I'm definitely more than likely going to get the guitar playing Reaper back here. I think he's awesome. I like that he bangs his head, you know, and uh, to Bluetooth music and things like that. I think that's really awesome. Um, I, I don't, you know, I really have to watch my collection. You know, there's a point where you have to wonder where the hell am I going to put all this stuff. So, um, you know, I'm not really interested in getting the drummer as well. I just think that would just take up too much space and not really interested in the drummer's overall animation uh, as far as him drumming. It's very slow paced. 
Uh, but the head banging uh, of the Reaper works out great. So definitely right now leaning on getting this guy personally for myself. Over to the left in the back, uh, you're going to see Pennywise. Kind of like what I talked about with the, uh, the licensed props last year and what I just talked about Leatherface. Um, and, and to be honest, I honestly haven't really seen a Pennywise that I've liked since uh, the movies came out. I haven't seen a good animatronic. Oh, so scary. I would say maybe the sewer grate. Pennywise is really the best that I've looked at that I, I honestly would potentially have gotten. Um, so I, I'm, I don't have a lot of high hopes uh, that he's gonna do a lot of good things, but we'll, I guess we'll see uh, with Pennywise. Over to the right, uh, you have kind of a, uh, a menacing Molly knockoff. My first impression is I was really excited. 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 All right, but then I saw them up close and I got to tell you, just they look so cheap, and I'm not really sure as to why there's two girls on one swing. What the hell were you thinking? Um, I think they really tried way too hard with this, and I, I just think it looks cheap. So it's definitely not something that I'm necessarily interested in. Get that out of here. All right. Uh, and finally with Lowe's, um, last one that stood out was this little uh, demonic uh, Raggedy Ann doll. Raggedy Ann? Honestly, I'm over the three foot animatronics. I'm really sick of seeing those guys. Um, this one's a little bit too girly. I think if you have a little girl into animatronics, it would be great for that. But I personally just wouldn't want, um, want, want the Raggedy Ann. It looks like she's just gonna kind of stand there and spin backwards. Um, I bought a uh, Jittery Jessica a few years back where her head turns real quick and kind of had that jump scare effect. Um, I don't I don't think I need a second one with the full body um, so we'll kind of go from there so as a bonus uh, Morris costumes I got to talk about this carnival barker definitely I definitely think that he is the best animatronic that I have seen so far for 2023 I'm gonna check this out amazing neck movements I think he would be amazing when people come to your house to see your animatronics and see him out there welcoming people in. So definitely, I would say a must have for pretty much everybody, you know, who's a, a big animatronic fan. Fire, fire, fire. Well, with all that said, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you can, uh, make sure you drop a comment, and tell me what you think below. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.